futbolé au coup on a qui tu kenye wana supporti sana futbolé sana comme mm. wana muke comme wana ume wana supporti mm. ya yeah. akini Afrika mm. wana muke kucheza mpira mm. sio kila mtu na msupporti Hello, Coppin fam. As always, we want to tell you the inspirational football stories you wouldn't normally hear, which is why we're in sunny West Yorkshire on a spring afternoon to tell the story of refugee turned Bradford women superstar Faleoni Sumaini. She's very quick. She's hard for other players to handle. We're really lucky to have her. There are a number of football players who have a refugee background who have played in the UK in recent years. Victor Moses, Granit Xhaka, Nadia Nadim, Dejan Lovren, Faleoni Sumaini. Uh, Jinangu Falon Smiley, na soma Bradford College, and na chesa mtimu ya Bradford City Women, ya natoka na, natoka Burundi. Do you just want to tell us uh, what football means to you? Why you enjoy playing it? Eh, wakati ni kwa nikuwa mdogo, ni kuwa na wajomba zangu, ni kuwa na chesa, mm. na ni kuwa na penda sana, mm. kuwa na kuwa na chesa ndondo kitu kini sukuma mi kupenda mpira. Na faida na penda ni yani ni kitu kenye kinanifanya mie muda wote na kuwa na furaha. Mm. E, yani nikikuwa kwenye uwanja na jisikia niko uhuru kabisa. Mm. What do you want to tell us a little bit about your life um, back in Burundi and whether you got involved playing football there, whether you enjoyed it there? Mwaka 2012 wakati mama yetu anakufa ya tulipata matatizo, tunajua tena mama ndo kila kitu. Mm. Yeah, maisha ya richeza tu hivyo. Mm. Ya richeza cheza lakini tulijitahidi mm. na nilikuwa hapo ndo niko na nilikuwa nichaanza kucheza mpira na mpira wa, wa Burundi sio kusema eti unalipa zaidi sana kama hapa. Mm. Yaani unacheza tu jo kusema labda nipate ile kidogo mm. ni nione kisi nitakula nyumbani mm. mm. nione kisi tanisaidia juu tunajua niko mwanamke. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Na shida tena ingine ilikuwa wakati sister angu na ye mkubwa na ye alifariki ya ilikuwa tabu sana. Mm. Tulishindua kufumilia, maisha yalikuwa magumu sana. Mm. Yeah. Na mpaka sasa mungu alisaidia tukafika hapa. Mm. Yeah. How was it when you first came to the UK? So obviously it's a brand new country. Is, is, is sometimes can be difficult adjusting being thousands of miles away from where you'd normally call home. How did you first find coming to this country? Yeah, to the point that when I first arrived, I was very nervous. I was not able to talk to anyone. I was just going to be alone. I was not able to talk to anyone. I was just going to be alone. 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 Hakuna tatizo. Kingine niko na waza juu mimi napenda mpira. Niko na waza nitaanzia wapi, nitapata timu wapi. Na kabla niko wa mpya hapa, ndio kitu kile nikuya kigumu sana. But it wasn't long until local clubs came knocking at her door. Kwa hivi Bradford City na furai sana juu ni ni timu yenyewe anifanya mimi nakuwa na furaha cha kwanza kwanza ni timu yenye kwanza inilikubali mm. e, hicho kwanza ni cha kwanza kikini ni furahisha kwanza what do you think of bradford as a city kuishi hapa yeah. naona ni maisha mazuri juu ni sawa sana zani kasema kwenye nilitoka na kwenye niko hivi ni tofauti sana mm. sasa mimi sijaona eti ngo naishi hapa ni pabaya ah mimi napafurahia tu mm. bradford is a very diverse multicultural city football is for all irrelevant of race, gender, ethnicity. Do you feel as though Bradford is a welcoming city for refugees? And Filoni isn't the only refugee who's been made to feel welcome in their local community through football, something that Amnesty International themselves helped drive with their football welcome schemes across April. The Football Welcomes Weekend is an opportunity for football clubs to celebrate the contribution that players with a refugee background have made to the game and we invite football clubs all over the country to put on events and activities for refugees and asylum seekers living in their communities. Football clubs are at the heart of so many communities across the UK and they play a really important role in those communities in terms of 
bringing people together, promoting community cohesion. The reason that the Football Welcomes Weekend happens in April is because it's the anniversary of the arrival in the UK of some of the first refugees to play professional football here. They were child refugees from the Spanish Civil War who arrived in the UK on a boat from Bilbao. Most of those children, there were 4,000 children on the boat, most of them went home. But of those who stayed, six of the boys went on to become professional footballers. When I hear from refugees and asylum seekers who are taking part in weekly football sessions that are run by football clubs, their community trusts or local charities, one thing that comes up over and over again is how for the time they're on the pitch they can forget about the stresses of everyday life and for that time they're just a football player. Do you miss Burundi and if so, what do you miss about it? What's, what sticks out? Burundi na pakumbuka, yani munda wote kila sana pakumbuka. Juni ni nchi yenye imenilea kwa sasa mpaka hivi. Mm. Na ni nchi yenye nifanya mie nika nikajulikana mm. kutokea mpira. Mm. Na ni nchi yenye ilikuwa inani inani support, mm. inanikubali, mm. inaniamini. Mm. Ya ndo maana na imisi mm. juu kwa sababu piko wa rafiki niliacha. Mm. Mm. Ya na timu niliacha. Mm. Ndo maana yani muda wote naikumbuka. It's brilliant that Filoni was able to find a team so quickly and that Bradford City women have welcomed her into the club and it's clear that she's been making her mark on the team and on the game. Do your family and friends uh, back in Burundi know that you play football to a high level here? Um, are they like, I'm, I'm guessing they're quite proud of you as well. Niliona wakati nafika nilikuwa yani muda wote nilikuwa naona tu video za Bradford City yeah sasa ni kitu kyenye nilikuwa nasema mimi nitaweza lakini wanaambia utaweza tu wewe pima utaweza yani watu wenye kwa ni support na kila kitu wanajua kama anacheza wanajua anacheza level gani na mpaka kwa sasa Speaking to Feloni and her teammates and everyone it's clear that Football's been a huge impact, it's been a big thing in terms of her building her new life here. And it really rams the point home about how it can be such a uniting factor in making people feel welcome and just... I love this game, innit?